What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of What If. So it's going to be a pretty short video today because there's only one change to make to the 2015 team. They still win the cup without question. Overtime has no effect on it whatsoever. But the Hawks played in five overtime games in this playoffs. They win four of them. Round one, they win 4-3 in double overtime against Nashville. They lose 6-2 in game two. They win 4-2 in game three. 3-2 in triple overtime in game four. Lose 5-2 in Game 5, but win 4-3 back at home in Chicago for Game 6. They were down 3 nothing in Game in game 1. They came back and won that in double OT. And um, they were also down 3 nothing in Game 6, and they also came back and won that. And then Round 2 against Minnesota. This is the third straight year that they're going to beat them. 4-3, 4-1, 1-0, 4-3, no overtime. Second of the two of the three times they sweep them. And then they win the win, win the middle one in six. Round three against the Ducks, they lose four one in Anaheim to start. Then they win three two in d triple overtime. Could have been double if Andrew Shaw's headbutt goal counted. They lose two one against in game three. They win five to four in double overtime off Antoine Vermette's OT goal. Marcus Kruger got this one. Sprint Seaber got this one. Duncan Keith got that one. And then Matt Bolesky, after the Hawks had an incredible comeback in the final minute, they scored two goals in the final minute of the game to tie the game to send it to overtime against Anaheim in Game 5. And Matt Bolesky then ended it as quickly as the Hawks tied the game. In about, I think it was 32 seconds into overtime. And we're going to say that doesn't happen. We're going to say Andrew Desjardins gets the winner in that one. And the Hawks are now going home to Chicago with a 3-2 series lead in which they win 5-2 and 5-3 anyway. Series is over no matter what. Round 4 against Tampa, they win 2-1, they lose 4-3, they lose 3-2, they win 2-1, they win 2-1, and they win 2 nothing. They win the Cup, and in the What If Series, they win their fourth straight Stanley Cup. No team had did that since the 80s Islanders, which is incredible enough. So, the Hawks having now made the final since 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years in a row. They are probably considered the greatest team of all time. <laughs> and um, instead of only three Stanley Cups, they now have another. They have five. Not to mention four of in a row. And on, on the three Stanley Cups, they have eight. And one in 2010. Not to, not to, surrounded by their two finals appearances. Then they win four in a row. And then 2016 is one I'm gonna have to do some research on because. I actually don't recall too much about the 2016 playoffs. It was kind of just me being sad over uh, bits of St. Louis beating Chicago in seven when they came back from three games to one down. But we'll look at that next time. Tomorrow is my channel's one-year anniversary, so we'll be looking to do something special for that if I get a chance. If I don't, there will be something special coming in the near future. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one, as that there really isn't that much to talk about other than that one overtime game. Remember to still like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.